Hello, everybody, and welcome back to this week's thoughts and feelings on Halo, the TV show, episode four, streaming now on Paramount Plus. So me and Noah just want to sit down for a minute and chat a little bit about what happened this week. And uh, I'm just going to start off by saying what a insane way to start an episode. It was absolutely insane what happened in this episode. And I just, just want to say right off the bat that this episode is a 10 out of 10. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Best episode to date. It was absolutely insane. So good. Mm. Like the the attack happened and just so many stakes this episode and nonstop yep. action did yep. not it didn't didn't let up. Oh, dude, it never let up. At no point was there a break for us to digest what the hell was going on. It, it was just it was just uh, just nonstop action non-stop just craziness really i mean like that whole like first of all the episode just immediately starts out with the explosion right where the last episode picked uh, ended which was with the explosion and we're just seeing the aftermath of everything that has happened you know everything that happened in the first three episodes just led up to this great absolutely amazing set piece mm-hmm. and oh my god and I will say one of my complaints that I've been pretty vocal about online and then also in these videos has been that the subplots haven't really felt that important so far. Uh, This episode really changed that by, first of all, making um, uh, by making certain subplots come together and make it come together with the main plot, while also somewhat abandoning other plots that we talked about last week with the whole thing with the the space pirates and how how Quinn was not even in this episode. Um, and yeah, I saw I saw a preview though, and she's uh, she's, she's yeah gonna she's be in gonna the, be in the, the next, next one. one. Yeah, which I really hope that the next episode isn't gonna be like oh yeah we get a Quinn episode. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's that's not happening. Okay, good. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that it was a good change of pace a little bit that we weren't going back and forth between these subplots that didn't really feel like they were gonna end up connecting. Um, and wow, the stuff that happened with Doctor Halsey this episode was absolutely insane. Like, definitely. Even from just the start of the episode, the action never stopped. And one of the craziest set pieces I've ever seen in a TV show was when Master Chief fights the Covenant with his bare fucking fists in a boxing fight, dude. That was so oh, yeah. cool. Tackles him through the glass. Yep. Ah, oh, dude. And, and, oh, good. And just to say, you know, some people act like chief and so far in the show is kind of not what chief is supposed to be he's not like some big strong buff guy he's a fucking little femboy pussy boy this episode proves that he's not that dude this episode proves that chief is the badass that we have been playing as for the last over 20 years you know yeah and i mean of course he's different you Mm -hmm. know i mean as a tv show absolutely i mean of course you're not gonna have you know the exact replica of of a hero that you have in a video game. Absolutely. I completely agree with that. And I will say, I was not expecting the Covenant to just straight up steal Cortana. Yeah, I wonder how that's... I, I wonder know. What, I wonder why that's important. Yeah, yeah, I know, dude. I'm pretty, uh... I'm pretty hyped to see where this next episode goes. Like I said, I mean, this episode is a 10 out of 10. There was multiple moments where I was just like, wow... It, like this episode doesn't miss like there was never a moment where I was like wow I want to turn this shit off or I'm bored dude just non-stop constantly in your face and it's so good at that especially this time around at this point um, if you haven't seen the episode go watch it do yourself a favor um, it's on Paramount Plus once again um, if you're one of those people that is like I refuse to watch the show get get your pussy ass out of here bro we, we don't need you here, right? Like, I mean, I mean, stick around and subscribe, but, um, you know, anyway, yeah. So if, if, if you're worried about spoilers, <laughs> leave now before we get into the spoiler talk. All right. I think that those people have left. So, Noah, how about you kick off the spoiler talk? Okay. So, basically, uh, Keys dies. Yeah, dude. That was... <laughs> wow. It was honestly pretty unexpected. Um, yeah. A pretty crazy moment, uh, you know. 
sacrificing himself for everybody and just the way that he I mean also just the way that he stood there as like the covenant closed in on him was insane oh my god mm-hmm. what a moment what a moment for a TV show for a yeah, light oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah solid episode all around um, and and just the emotional like roller coaster that this episode was at times man like the moment yeah when... like you got you got okay you got yeah, go what it. um perez's family mm-hmm. at the start they they die yeah like immediately at the start of the episode yep and then after that you have lewis's husband dies yes right? yep that was the name right lewis husband? yes yes lewis um he sacrifices himself after that yep um to to take down a wraith and then um and you had keys. Yep. And then you got Vanek at the at the very end, and I'm like, what? Yeah, like okay, like Keys' death. I was like, wow, this is a cool way to end an episode. And then, <laughs> and then Vanek dies and at then the very Vanek end. Is like, oh my god, you're gonna you're gonna kill one of the team members? What's, yeah. what's this? And then oh. that just made me think, okay, maybe Soren will maybe Soren will become a team member. Dude, that'd be pretty. But sick. I don't know. I, that would be pretty sick, but I don't. I don't think that's happening. Mm-hmm. I. I mean, it'd be cool, and I want. I want it, but yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, it, dude. It, like, I was shocked every single step of the way throughout that that episode. I mean, there was never a moment where I was like, like, wow, this was boring or this wasn't exciting. No, nah, dude, just nonstop, just gut punches. Multiple instances were just like where characters just straight up fucking die like important characters and it was like characters mm-hmm. that feel untouchable and i guess that was sort of the whole point but oh my god man it was absolutely insane with some it of gives you it gives you some sense of stakes yeah. too yep yeah and and the scene where chief finds out that halsey is alive and is well and like mm-hmm. and then oh. he sees soren too of course oh my god his best friend yeah yeah with halsey like that's insane. Which, which we haven't really gotten an answer for this yet. But did the chief not question where Soren was for like a week? <laughs> I don't think Chief knew he was arrested. Fair. In my mind, you like you don't think that he would have thought where? Do, hey, where's my, where's my buddy? <laughs> you know? Um, oh well, I mean he, well I mean Soren's kind of like he's in the rubble. He's his own guy. You know, he's not. I mean, in the first season, John takes Quan over to oh. have Soren like protect her. I see. Uh, and then they get separated on us, obviously, because John. I think he has to go back and take care of business at the at the UNSC, right? Right. right. But yeah. Gotcha. Okay. I don't really remember. I don't really remember much of season one, to be honest. Mm-hmm. But I do remember that. I do remember you got you had him and Soren interacting in the first season. Right. Right. But in the second season, it's going to be cool to see how they react. How they oh, interact dude. with each other this time? Oh, dude, I'm, yeah, and especially, yeah, like you mentioned, the stakes that they have, um, you know, with Halsey and everything. Oh my God, it's gonna be, stuff is gonna go down, and we're still only in episode four. Which, speaking of that, do we if know... you weren't aware, mm-hmm. uh, the reason why Halsey and Keys were acting like that was because they do have a daughter together. I did know this. Yeah, okay, which, you did. Okay. Yes. Wow, man, that, that episode was. Do we know how many episodes this season is gonna be, or no? Nine. Nine. Okay. Okay. So. But we got five left. Wow. <laughs> and oh, I'm just I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, oh Jesus, you scared me. Um, but yeah, honestly, I just I still give this episode just like a solid ten out of ten just every single moment of this episode was just insane and just makes me excited to come back for next week because I mean the amount of people that died and the amount of things that happened in this episode were insane we already talked about her family passing away we already talked about everything going on with Chief like it's just wow and then the, like the battle scenes right we talked about the boxing scene that was pretty fucking cool but every other action scene was just insane. Like, at no point was there a dull moment when it came to fighting, especially. 
Like, this episode delivered on that. Like, I've seen some people on Twitter complaining about people being like, oh, yeah, you know, the show's just build up, whatever, but we haven't really seen much, uh, you know, in action-wise. This episode says, this episode says, fuck you, and says we can do that, too. And it, mm-hmm. it, it, it shows that it can do that, and it does it in a brilliant way. With having, like, especially with, like, killing off so many important characters right away in this show by having such a crazy build-up. You know, it, I couldn't have asked yep. for a better episode, honestly. Uh, definitely my favorite episode of this of the series oh, so yeah, far. Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. Um, like episode one had that really cool fight scene, but I mean, yep. this one has just everything in it. You know? Yeah. Yep. I was gonna say the only. I'm excited for next week's. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. I, I also saw a tweet. Mm-hmm. That said that Pablo said in an interview that uh, they filmed in the Alps for two weeks. So people think that he's going to be, uh, they're going to be on the Halo ring by the end of the show. Dude, I mean, the end of the season. That that would be, that would be cool. I, I mean, I, I'm just excited to see where the show goes um, overall. And I like, it, it's tough because it's like, I don't have any, I don't have any complaints this episode. Honestly, I, I felt like everything was well paced. Uh, you know the whole bit about oh, but you know the plasma pistol it shot blue instead of green, so I'm oh, mad. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, fucking shows canceled, guys. <laughs> shows fucking ca- <laughs> shows fucking canceled. Um, I'm boycotting the show. Um, and also the battle rifle was full auto. Like why? Okay. Why, why? Okay. You know what's funny? Unironically, I was thinking that. I I kind of thought that. I was like, because at times they, I feel like they couldn't decide if it was full auto or not. <laughs> like unironically, I was like, "Wait, so is it full auto or is it not?" You know, I they mean, couldn't get to their armor. Shokes canceled. <laughs> you know, I, I, you know, there's going to be people that are going to complain about the armor. The armor to me doesn't bug me, uh, especially as some people complain about it online. Um, but yeah, I I felt like the, I I honestly did feel that the whole thing about the uh, the, the battle rifle was a little weird. That it was like this weird cross between full auto and semi-automatic, or sorry, burst fire, and they couldn't decide what it wanted to be, which is funny. Um, but I mean, it doesn't ruin the show or anything like that. I mean, the assault yeah, rifle. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. saw, I saw um, Hidden Xperia. He's like a big lore guy in the community, and if I doubt it, but like if he ever sees this, nothing but full respect to you, but. <laughs> I saw what you said today on Twitter about the episode, and I had to, like, really disagree with you. You were like, oh, it's a great episode, but uh, it, it still has three main things that I just have problem with it with the show, which was... And he didn't say what the three things were, but I, I already knew what he meant. So what, what would what would you think his three main complaints are? That they didn't have their armor on, okay. number one. Yeah. And then two, inconsistencies with lore. Right. And then three, probably the, um, probably the fact that uh, that one girl from season one is still alive. Which one? The uh, the, the, uh, the blonde oh, that's with the, the covenant. Yeah, the bad, the bad one. Um, yeah. I, I, I would. Uh, or maybe it's because they killed Keys before he got on the Pillar of Autumn or something. I don't know. I'm... You know, honestly, I think killing Keys off, like. I don't. I hate those people that get upset when when their mate when one of their favorite characters gets killed off. I'm not one of those people. Um, yeah, me me too. Um, it, I would honestly argue that it can do good for a show, but that's besides the point. Um, but in my opinion, I can I can see where he's coming from with the whole thing about the lore. Like it's weird that the battle rifle can't decide if it wants to be full auto or semi or a burst fire in this okay, show well you know what it, it, in, in the future it's probably smart that it has both features that you can choose burst or automatic okay do we think that's what the but answer in the games is, we just use it i think that that that's what the answer is that's what i think okay because it makes sense to me if that's that the, it would make sense to me that it would have two different settings if that's the answer then that's fine but like to, it, i think it's weird like if you're gonna tease fans by being like, "Oh yeah, it's more accurate," look, it's it's burst fire, and then like, to then not explain that in some form that it has a full auto, I think would piss off a lot of fans. I think that a lot of fans would be fine. Maybe not if you were like, "Look, it also." I, has a f- I honestly could not care less about well, it. That's fair. I, that's fair enough. Um, I, I really, I. Have, it's a gun. Mm-hmm. 
That's fair. I made it clear in my opinions about the armor thing. I really don't care if they wear it or not. And I really especially don't care in this context because Keys gave a great speech explaining, look, they don't have their armor today and they don't fucking need it. And, um, and wow, man, that, that was a brilliant speech and overall just, just an amazing fucking moment in the episode, honestly. But yeah, uh, overall, I think that the episode was great. I'm just excited to see where the next week goes. And I don't really, I think that I'm all set. Do um, you have anything to add, No. I mean, just watch the show. Yeah, watch the show. Support Paramount Plus. Um, they also have South Park. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed. Uh, once again, we're going to be back next week for episode 5 of the Halo TV show. Uh, we've been enjoying it quite a bit so far. If you haven't already, go down there, hit that subscribe button, press that like button. Let us know that you guys are enjoying the content and that you guys want to see more of this amazing content. Uh, so yeah, have a wonderful rest of your day, guys, and peace.